Welcome to refining the armwave tutorial number two. So this tutorial is really just an extension from the last tutorial. Since in the last one we had a portion where we talked about finishing the wave and this just extends in that, you know, just by a little bit. So this tutorial will be a whole lot shorter. But um, on finishing the waves, um, this tutorial's topic is about practicing your arm waves slowly. And by practicing slowly, I mean just taking your arm wave and instead of going a uh, faster rate in which you normally go at, you just kind of take it real slow. Now, two points as to um, the advantages of practicing your arm wave slowly. One, because it helps you to finish your wave so you don't skip any portion. So that's where it comes in from the last tutorial. And then the second point is that it helps you accentuate your waves. By accentuate, I mean um, help your waves pop out more for people to see. So you can really, you know, let it go out there so they can really see the whole illusion of the wave. Now as for practicing the wave, just take the normal waves that you would really do and then just slow it down for every single step. And when you're slowing it down, you can get a feel for every single kink in your wave so you can really, you know, see where you need to work on in each portion of the wave and what you need to do what you need to accentuate more and you can therefore make it more fluid that way. So when you're practicing it, I mean, this is just the way of, that I think when I practice it, it's like the wave doesn't want to go through my body so I kind of have to force it through. It's basically the same feeling. You gotta force the wave through. So that's all there really is to practicing the arm wave slow. Um, as a review, it'll help you to finish your waves, it'll help you accentuate your waves and all in all, you know, just refine the arm wave, make it more fluid. So in conclusion to this tutorial, remember this is just a practice method. Um, there isn't a need to have to use this method of, uh, of practicing your waves. You know, you can always use your way or whatever, but it's always good to have your options open just in case you get stuck in a certain portion of your waving journey. You know, we always get roadblocks and stuff. Peace.